Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, we're going to be briefly discussing uh, issues associated with the legal formalities pertaining to shareholders and the number thereof on Thai corporations. Uh, in the past, it was required that Thai companies have seven shareholders in order to be incorporated and in fact needed to maintain seven shareholders throughout the life of the company uh, as part of the uh, legal formalities inherent in Thai corporate law. In more recent years, about the past 12 or 13, I think, if I'm not incorrect, um, it's now required that there only be three shareholders on a Thai company. And uh, as has been previously discussed on this uh, channel, uh, there's even some talk of actually having single shareholder companies in Thailand. Uh, but for purposes of this video, uh, basically I just kind of wanted to go over the general formalities. Um, I think the thinking in the past was that a company is a company in like kind of the traditional sense of the term. It's a group of people coming together, throwing together some capital in order to get an enterprise up and going. Um, this used to be the case in the United States, for example. IMC companies, so-called incorporated entities, required a number of formalities that are very similar to those associated here in Thailand, including uh, depending on the jurisdiction, various formalities associated with how many individuals needed to be shareholders, etc., with a company. With the advent of so called limited liability companies or LLCs in the United States or quote unquote LTDs in the UK, I'm not a UK licensed uh, lawyer um, and I'm not a Thai licensed attorney. Our Thai attorneys deal with corporate matters. This is just sort of an informational overview. Um, with the advent of LLCs in the United States, now you can basically just have a limited liability in an incorporated entity pretty much overnight um, and it only needs to be one person associated with it, a so-called member managed LLC where there's just one member of the LLC and that member manages it. Um, that's perfectly acceptable under many jurisdictions in the United States. Here in Thailand, um, again, these formalities persist. Uh, they've done some things to sort of uh, streamline doing business and facilitate business here, uh, most notably going from a seven shareholder framework to a three shareholder framework, and possibly in the near future we may see a single shareholder framework. Uh, but that being said, uh, as of the time of this filming, it is required that there be three shareholders and three shareholders remain on the company uh, for the duration of the company's existence uh, in order to be in line with the formalities inherent in Thai corporate law.